Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a review of the 4C Only Too Easy collection. I won this collection in a giveaway, so I'm super excited to finally, finally, finally use a hair product that is formulated for 4C hair. Now, while I might not have all 4C hair, I got a mixture of 4B and 4C. So it was still nice to see a product that's formulated for a kinkier, coilier hair type, y'all. This packaging is beautiful and it comes with four staple ingredients. The first one is the Too Clean Shampoo and it says kinky, thick, and juicy, the Too Thick Deep Conditioner which says the same thing and it also has a leave-in which I forgot to add into this intro and it also has a styling cream called Too Slick. So I'm gonna start off with the shampoo and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it. So off the bat guys, I noticed how like sleek the shampoo is. It's super just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like slimy, but like in a good way, if you know what I mean. It's like a creamy shampoo. So I'm going ahead and I'm actually applying the shampoo in four sections separately. Off the bat, I noticed that the shampoo is super moisturizing. It's obviously not a clarifying shampoo, like you could feel it. It almost, I wouldn't necessarily call it a, a co-wash because it's still, you know what I mean? Like it's still cleaning my hair, but it was that moisturizing, guys. I really like this shampoo. So I do go in with my scalp brush that I use to really make sure that shampoo is going in and thoroughly cleaning my scalp. I didn't get my scalp as clean as I like, but I have really dry scalp, so I usually have to use um, different products to really get my scalp as clean as I would like it to. But for, for this video, I just wanted to use the 4C only products. Now, I don't know if you guys could tell, but my hair was actually really moisturized. Um, you could tell by the way my curls are kind of clumping, especially all the way in the back, which is where I have the coarsest of my hair is, is in the back. So this is this shampoo is super moisturizing, like I said before, and I really love it. So we're, we're off to a good start. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my deep conditioner. I'm already really happy with the shampoo, so we're gonna go ahead and do this thing. And I'm gonna keep it in four sections the whole time, so yeah. Um, so this is the too thick, too thick deep conditioner, y'all. And it is really thick. <laughs> like, it is super thick. So for those of you who really like super thick deep conditioners, this is definitely for you. It has like the same consistency as a lot of like hair masks that I've used by like Shea Moisture and stuff. So we shall see how this goes. Some of the main ingredients in this is grapeseed oil, uh, vegetable glycerin, slippery elm extract. I love that stuff. That's in my Kiki Curly Not Today, which is my fate, one of my favorite leave-ins. Uh, aloe. And that's the only thing that I could like tell what it is, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not like an like an ingredient person. So but yeah, I'm gonna take about this much in this first part here. Need some mo. Take about twice as much. All right, after going through and finger detangling, I could definitely feel the slip that is there. All right, guys, so since I am only finger detangling, it did take me quite a while to really like distribute the product throughout the section. But I feel like if you're using a brush or a comb, it won't take you as long. Um, as for the slip, it definitely has a good amount of slip. Like I'm not upset about it. Like it definitely helped me to finger detangle throughout my hair. And I did have to use a quite a lot just for me and my hair and its density. I did have to use quite a lot. I'm just going to show you how much I used on this one section. So kind of just like this whole section I had to use on one section of my hair. So, but that's just my hair. You know, people that have a lower density 
less actual hair strands might not have to use as much guys i'm just really happy to see a hair brand actually like catering to type 4 hair and 4c hair to be exact um my hair is a mixture of all of the hair of the four of the type fours um a majority of the back is 4c and then a majority of the front is 4b uh, do i have areas of 4a i don't really know it's kind of hard to tell because of my density like like if I had less hair strands on my head, then it would probably seem like the front could be 4A, but because there's so much of it, it just comes off as thicker and more coarse. So I don't know. And I try not to go based off of like, you know, that specific hair chart, but because this hair brand is called 4C only, I do want to describe my hair in that kind of, in that way. If that makes sense so i'm not only 4c and it's really hard to find somebody who only has 4c hair throughout their hair most of us have a mixture um everybody's hair is different one person who has 4c hairs could look completely different from another from another person who has 4c hair like depending on their porosity their density the actual thickness of their hair strands so and that's what's beautiful about our hair guys like it comes in all shapes and sizes and i don't know it's a beautiful thing and i'm really happy that i'm able to try this hair brand so yeah and my hair is low porosity so I tend to use lighter products in my hair, especially for leave-ins. Um, I just feel like they soak into my hair better. But with this deep conditioner, I'm going to use heat and I'm hoping that that helps it to really absorb into my, into my hair strands because I tend to always have issues with that, especially with deep conditioners. Like I'll buy the most expensive deep conditioner in the world that's supposed to be like amazing and I, it just like is okay on me because even though i use heat sometimes my hair just does not eat it up it's just like no i don't want this like i could have clarified my hair to the gods beforehand making sure i had no like nothing in my hair so that it could just drink up the deep conditioner and sometimes i just don't want to do it or it just i don't know my hair just has a mind of its own and i'm trying to figure out what it likes so I'm really hoping that this deep conditioner can remain a staple in my hair care regimen because back in the day when I was first natural, I found a deep conditioner that literally made my hair feel like cotton candy. Like it would, well not cotton candy, but it made my hair feel really soft. And it was on the TGIN Honey Miracle Mask. But I tried it again and it didn't work. I think they changed their, um. I think they might have changed their formula and it just doesn't work as well on my hair as it used to or like my hair changed i don't know but it just don't work anymore and i just don't understand it like at first i thought it was a clarifying problem like my hair wasn't clarified enough but i tried i clarified my hair and i tried it again and it just didn't work so yeah so i'm really hoping that this deep conditioner works for me so i'm just making sure that my hair is completely saturated in this deep conditioner so look at those curls popping guys like come on like come on like i'm just i hope that when i rinse it out my you know it just works like i feel like it is though so yeah all right guys now here's the kinkiest part of my hair is in the back so we're gonna see how does deep conditioner does with the back of my hair because that it's just a lost cause back there i don't know what's happening back there most of the time like i'm just like listen just do what you want to do and just look like just look cute because i can't handle i like i just can't handle the back of my head sometimes and that's why it's so short compared to the front because it just it just don't uh it just doesn't have like any length retention in the back like it's always 
constantly falling out and just shedding. So I'm trying to get the back situation together. But in the meantime, my hair has a cute shape because the back is shorter. So it kind of works out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, also I saw Star Puppy try these products and I freaking love her. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers. Hey, she's Danielle, she does too much. She likes hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. What's up, what's good, Danielle? What's good, Star Puppy? The resident weirdo? Nah, but she's really cool. You guys should check her out. She's freaking awesome. She has like this wonderful personality. And yeah, but you guys can see the shape. Like my hair is so short back here that just gets longer as it goes up. Like that wasn't on purpose. That's just how my hair decides to B. But so far so good in the back. Like it took a it's taken some some work, but so far so good. Oh by the way guys, I trimmed my hair, so I don't know if you could tell, but my hair is significantly shorter. <laughs> I really be treating deep conditioner. Like it's a wash and go. Like I have to make sure every strand is hydrated and moisturized. Almost like a wash and go. All the hair strands. All right guys, so now that I'm done with all of my sections, I like to just go in and reapply to just the ends only. Reapply the 4C only to the ends only. <laughs> you know, it's like a play on words. Okay, I'm done. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys see how much looser the front is than the back? Like, I don't understand why is my hair like this. Hey guys, so I'm back from rinsing out my deep conditioner. I left it in my hair and I put on a heat, I put on a, a bonnet, you know, a heat bonnet, you know, you you connect it to the hair dryer that you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'll leave it down in the description. But yeah, so I basically did that for like 45 minutes cause I was just being lazy. I was on my phone watching reels and TikToks and stuff. So anyways, so I rinsed it out guys and off the bat, off the bat, my hair feels soft. My curls are on the fleekage. You guys can see, so, so far so good. Like it's not like super, super, super soft like it's been before, but it's still like pretty darn soft. So I'm not mad at it and my hair looks good. It's so shrunken right now though. Like I'm like, I feel like my hair hasn't been this short in a long time, <laughs> but because I cut it, it's like, ooh. But anyways, so I'm gonna go in with their leave-in conditioner. All right, so I'm gonna go in with their leave-in conditioner. I'm kind of gonna do the same thing that I did with their deep conditioner, uh, four sections. Um, so just opening it off the bat, it's not as thick as the leave-in, as the deep conditioner, which I'm kind of happy about because I like, like I told you guys before, I like my leave-ins to be uh, a little bit on a thinner side. So just to kind of show you the consistency. Uh, focus. This is that kind of the consistency. Not super thick. Once you rub it in, it basically disappears, which I like. That means it's most likely not gonna leave any residue or any flaking. And it just feels super soft and like it has a ton of slip. So I'm really excited to use this. Some of the ingredients that I can read um this also has slippery elm extract and just some other stuff i don't really know what it is but yeah so this also has the slippery elm which like i said is in my staple leave-in conditioner so i'm excited to use this guys i'm gonna go ahead and split my hair into four again all right guys so now my hair is in four sections and i'm gonna show you guys my initial thoughts on this. I'm actually gonna split this section into two. All right. So I'm gonna apply the lead into this section. Use about this much for right now to see how much I'm gonna need. Yes, I already love this consistency. I can tell I'm gonna like this. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay. It doesn't have all the moisturizing quality that I would want. And the slip isn't like amazing like I thought it would be, like how it felt on my hands. But it's not bad either. So, so far the leave-in is working really well with my detangling brush. I'm able to get my brush right on through my hair. I have to work from bottom to top still, but my hair is nice and detangled. So that is definitely a plus. So I'm kind of just gonna skip through the detangling process. Um, a thorough detangling video will be coming very soon. So make sure you're clicking that notification button so you never miss a video for me and that you don't miss that detangling video because I promise it's gonna be so helpful for you and your curls. So yeah. All right guys, so I'm done applying the leave-in all over my hair. Um, like I said in the beginning, it didn't quite have the moisture I would have really liked, but it definitely had a lot of slip. This is how much I used for my whole head, and trust me, yes, it was all necessary. All right, guys, now it's time for the Too Slick Styling Cream. Okay, this stuff is super thick as well. This might be nice for that moisture that I felt like I was missing from the leave-in. This might be like a nice little, you know, it might add a little bit of, ooh. Ooh, okay, it might add a little bit of that moisture that I was missing. Uh, some of the ingredients that I could read. Grapeseed oil, shea butter, ooh, shea butter. And that's like, like at the top of the list. Uh, let's see, what else can I read here? Pectin, I don't know what pectin is. Soybean oil, slippery elm extract, hemp seed oil, rosehip oil, jojoba oil, aloe vera, and all that other stuff. Y'all, this sounds like it's gonna be real nice. Now it says it's a styling cream, so I'm really hoping that it has some good holds because I'm gonna try to attempt uh, one of these uh, <clears throat> What are these called? Foam rollers. Um, I'm gonna attempt using these foam rollers. Uh, my girl Tanisha and her boyfriend Vendelin got me these for Christmas, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. They're awesome. So thank you, Tanisha and Vendelin. But um, yeah, I've never used these before, and I'm kind of excited to try it out. Uh, if it don't come out good, it's because my first time using it, and it's gonna go into a puff. So like whatever and my hair's still gonna be stretched i've been trying to keep my hair stretched anyways but i didn't want to just do a twist out because i feel like everybody does twist outs and like it gets boring and i've been doing twist outs for a very long time so i just don't want to do another twist out so i am going to do this foam roller set okay i don't know what i'm doing because there's like different sizes i feel like i should use smaller ones in the back because i got shorter hair back there see i see <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm going to use about like this much hair. And the styling cream. I don't know how much it is to use. Please conduct a patch test. Mm, fine. All right. So this, this says to braid or twist using the styling cream. And I'm not. I'm doing something else. But I don't know. We going to see. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a braid and curl. So I'm going to start off with a braid and then end with a curl. So since I'm doing that, I could probably use a little bit more hair. But yeah guys, this styling cream definitely has more of the moisture that I was looking for. I feel like that's because of the shea butter and all the oils that I was kind of missing from the leave-in. Also, I always use the LCO method and this line didn't come with an oil, but I wanted to like only use products from this line and not use an oil. So since this product has oils in it, you know it's kind of like replacing the oil that I would normally use. So that's good. The only thing is, I don't know how this hold's gonna be, but it doesn't feel like tacky or nothing. So it might just feel like a really light, soft hold, which is why I'm gonna do just twist and curl instead of just a roller set. 
And I feel like for this product, the little goes a long way. I probably didn't need, need as much as I used. So I'm gonna start with the braid. So I'm gonna finish this up, do my whole head, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow after my whole head is dry. I'm gonna take it down and we're gonna see what this hair is looking like. So I'll be back. All right guys, so it is the morning. It's actually Christmas day, so Merry Christmas. It's not gonna be Christmas day when y'all watching this, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down. One thing I will say guys, I might have made a mistake of using too much of the styling cream because yesterday I was just looking at them because I left these in for two days. I was looking at them and I noticed that in the front I had a crap ton of residue. So I don't know if it's the product or the fact that I just used way too much. Like it's, 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 it's raining down right now. Like, and I didn't even open it. Um, so I don't know. I'm not trying to bad mouth the product, but you don't want to use a lot because, yeah, you guys can see that. Like my Christmas hair is probably ruined today, but I'm going to take it down anyways for the sake of this video. My hair feels like, it feels like there's wax on it. Like it doesn't feel very soft. So, cause I was so hyped about the styling cream because I made my hair feel so soft while I was applying it. But once it dries, it's just kind of like, it feels waxy. Feels like there's wax on my hair, y'all. All right, so as you guys can see, my hair is super shrunken. But when I ended up putting oil on some of the spots that had a lot of the residue, the residue ended up going away. So that is nice. I don't have to rewash my hair or anything, so that is nice. I am still getting a lot of like, there's white stuff all over my shirt. So that's the only thing. If you're using this product, I would say just to not use as much as I did or, I don't know if it's because of my hair type, like low porosity, like I don't know why that happened, but it did. So this hairstyle was kind of a fail. Like I don't know what I thought it would come out like. I thought it would be more stretched, considering I braided half the way down, but maybe I should have braided a little bit more down and just put the rollers on the ends. <laughs> because this is, uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm probably gonna put it in a puff. <laughs> But um, yeah, but anyways, as for the products, guys, I really like the shampoo. It was super moisturizing. If you're looking for a shampoo that's gonna like clarify your hair, this is not it. It's strictly a moisturizing shampoo. Um, if you're trying to like wash out silicones, all that, this probably isn't the shampoo for that. Go ahead and get you a clarifying shampoo. But this shampoo is super moisturizing and great for 4C hair. The only caveat about the shampoo is that the container that it's in it's kind of hard to apply the shampoo um i wish it was like in a bottle like a squeeze like a regular shampoo bottle i don't i don't know why it's in a jar but every time i went to go reach to get some i would get water in there so it's like kind of watered down now <laughs> but yeah other than that i love the shampoo the deep conditioner i also love my hair was super moisturized and just my curls were popping. So deep conditioner, shampoo and a deep conditioner were definitely the highs of this collection. Um, I really didn't like the leave-in conditioner. I felt like it did nothing for my hair, like other than have a little bit of slip and help me detangle. Um, it did have some slip. It just didn't like provide my hair any moisture and just like moisture retention. I just didn't feel it. It just kind of helped me detangle. Which is good. So if you're looking for like a detangler, sure. But for a leave-in conditioner, I didn't feel like it was conditioning my hair. But that's just me. Um, and then as for the styler, like I said, obviously it does have hold. It definitely held my curls intact, which is awesome. I would definitely try to do a different hairstyle with this. Um, but little goes a long way don't use a lot <clears throat> if you end up getting product um residue just use some oil and it kind of comes out which is nice the other caveat about this line is that it doesn't come with an oil and like as a 4c girl you need 
oil for your hair. I thought the styler would kind of replace the oil since there's like shea butter in it and different types of oils, but it kind of doesn't. You really need an oil in a, in a, in a hair product line, I feel like, especially for 4C hair. You need some kind of oil to seal in the moisture, just to add shine, even just for the scalp, you know what I mean? I just feel like it's missing that. Other than that, all in all, I would give this line probably a five out of 10, kind of halfway, because two of the products I liked and then two of them I didn't. Um, so yeah, that's just my thoughts on this product, on these products, it may be different for you. Um, everybody's hair is different, so I don't want uh, people to be like, well, it worked for me. Oh, great, I'm glad it did. It just, as y'all could see with your own two eyes, <laughs> it didn't really work for me. I mean, like the leave-in conditioner. You can't really see that the leave-in conditioner isn't working for me, but you can only see, listen to what I tell you about how I felt about it, so. But as you can see, the styler definitely, look at that curl definition, you know what I mean? Like, this not, might not be the cutest style, but like, it definitely has hold for being a cream. And it's, it's really hard for a cream to really have hold, especially on really thick, kinky 4C hair, or any type 4 hair. Um, so that's pretty impressive. And as for the residue, I am gonna keep working some oil into there to kind of get that out. But yeah, definitely see some curl def definition there. So I'm not 100% mad at the styling cream. Cause it might've been my fault for using too much. But um, yeah, I would just give it a five out of 10. I do wish it had an oil with it. Um, as a standalone line, would I use it again with just these four products? No, like I'd probably use the shampoo and the deep conditioner again. Maybe the leave-in conditioner if I was like having trouble detangling, but I'm just gonna go back to my kinky curly knot today cause that's just my boo. That's my boo thing. And then I would have to use an oil with it. And then maybe I'd use the styler again with a different style, maybe just like a twist out. Um, but only use a little bit and like add some oil in there. Uh, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed to me. If you didn't hit that subscribe button down below and you watched this video and you didn't hit the subscribe button, like you, you were a hater, no, I'm kidding. But it would really help me get to 1K, which is my goal. Um, I was hoping to get there by the end of the year, but that's not happening. But that's okay, guys. Like, you live and you learn. <laughs> but, hey guys, so I actually um, wanted yeah. to update you on my hair. I ended up separating the curls and wearing it in, like, this pohawk style, which is actually really cute. And the curls lasted for a full seven days, so I'm actually not mad at it at all. Make sure you hit that notification button also so that you never miss another video from me. Peace out and Happy New Year.